seen you and Kari 1K have had some issues going on that y'all resolved, though. And y'all ended up actually being in the same studio. Not just you and him, but shit, uh, plenty plenty more other, you know, lit Petersburg yeah. rap. And so, yeah, yeah, bro. You know, how did, how did y'all get past that? And how did all these rappers get in one room like that? Like, what was all that? Right, so, like, basically, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that shit don't be about nothing, bro. It just, like I said, bro, my city dog, he dog, bro. So if a nigga seeing a nigga doing some shit, bro, and he going up, you know what I'm saying? Do you see another nigga, he coming up right behind you, bro? The nigga gonna automatically try to say, all right, well, shit, we gotta, the first thing they're gonna say is we gotta get these niggas on a song together. The second thing they're gonna say is this nigga better than that nigga, that nigga better than this nigga, and we gonna see which nigga better and one of these niggas better, he he better than he better, and that's how that shit will go. I was watching the interview earlier today, my um uh, uh Fred O'Bain. They were talking about young boy and shit. He was like, We from the same city, bro. We doing the same shit, and niggas gonna try to put us against each other, and that's all the fuck it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? That same type of lane, that melodic lane, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas just tried to pit that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I was I was on some shit like, you know what I'm saying, we sat down type shit. And I just, you know what I'm saying, I spoke my man, I spoke how I felt, I said how I felt, you know what I'm saying, and bruh, you know what I'm saying, bruh, did the same, you know what I'm saying, and you know I'm saying, we got past that shit type shit, you know, like, and then got down, you know, as far as, you know, with everybody else, you know, it, it won't just, you know, me and him, everybody, everybody had their little differences because everybody's opinionated. We from a city where everybody opinionated. I mean, you go here with the fuck I got to say, because that's, 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 that's how... That's how the fuck is going down, bro. Like I said, this shit a doggy dog, bro. You ain't, you ain't gonna let a nigga, like, like, you ain't gonna let a nigga just silence you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have your own identity out of this bitch, bro. I mean, and once you find it, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta stick with that motherfucker, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta realize, bro, all us, all us men, bro, but we all got our own pride, our own ego. So all them egos gotta coexist, man. It ain't just about Nano or One K or Bob or Porter or whoever in that motherfucker, bro. It's about the, it's about everybody together. It's about you know what I'm saying that shit. So when we did that shit, bro, I just so, felt so, real so, good so, about that shit. So so you Kari One K, y'all was able to put y'all differences aside. Yeah, the guys that was in that room who may have had differences was able to put that shit aside. Yeah. And all y'all was able to get in one room for the betterment of y'all city. Yeah, for the yeah, for the betterment of the, you know what I'm saying, for the betterment of the scene, the music scene, bro. You know what I'm saying? We did that shit for the city. And it's some shit that we was talking about for months before that, bro. But it won't plan. That's the crazy thing. It won't plan at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just like it was goddamn Boz was there, bro. I called Boz engineer, you know what I'm saying? He was my I called Boz engineer. Louis and Louis, like me and Louis, like back when I first started recording, Louis was my main engineer. Louis did Twist the Cap. So, you know what I'm saying? Me and Louis already got history at my dog. So I called, bro. He's like, yeah, man, I'm at the studio. Bob. So I pull up over there. And, you know what I'm saying? We start, you know what I'm saying? We start recording and shit. All of a sudden, car walk in, Paul walk in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get to walking in. And we know it. We just like, God damn, every bit. God damn, everybody in this bitch. How they said the Mount Russian boy in this bitch. Man, everybody in there, you know. Nigga just, you know what I'm saying? Car pull his phone out and just put that shit on, put that shit on IG, and that shit just went up because niggas was like, damn, all these niggas in the room together. Like, yeah, it just happened like that on the humble. Like, we ain't playing that shit. Damn, damn. So, so now, you know, all y'all Petersburg artists or, or some of the latest artists in, in one room at the time. Y'all able to put differences aside for the city. Man, not only that, but seeing Kari 1K get his moment, you know, and, and signing the Pusha T slash Hero Wave at the time, like, did that motivate y'all and get a city hope that this shit possible? Or, or how did the city yeah. look at that? Hell hey, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hell hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When bro, when bro took off and, and then it made it even better than bro was the first, like, he was the first signee. You know, like that. I, I feel like a lot of niggas forget that shit, bro. The first time he like it, like it ain't, my, it ain't too many niggas from the bird was the first night. I mean, like 
For real. Like, they're not sitting out love, but, you know what I'm saying, when you get a chance to make history, a nigga gonna, you know what I'm saying, nigga gonna salute a nigga. That would the fuck that, you know what I'm saying, that would the fuck was, bro. Bro, I did that shit. And, you know what I'm saying, like, the city was, the city definitely was and still lives behind, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, like, because when I came up, that's his, that's the first person they were like, bro, you gotta do some shit with, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we like, you know what I'm saying, we got a couple on our bed, man, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and on with once Porter started booming, you know what I'm saying? Porter started booming and he, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like one of us came right behind another, you know what I'm saying? Because Porter was already rapping for both of us, but he had to fuck around and sit down. You know what I mean? So then Kai went, you know what I'm saying? I went, Porter came out, got his chance, and he went. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now, you know, it's everybody got a fan base, man. And of course, man, shout out to my all wife for Brook and Bert. They've been doing that shit too. And Stack, the nigga been doing that shit. Shout out to the nigga, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, Bye, when, too. When it come to, you know, rappers beefing or, or having issues with each other, whether they're in the same state or the same city, of course, ego and pride, you know, play a part of that. But do you think, you know, the internet and social media is what? Man, hell yeah. Over the top? Man, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. The internet eat that shit up, man. Like, Cause, and it cause, make, cause it look, make... Look, niggas, niggas act like they can't coexist on the same internet or in the same state and city. You know what I'm saying? Man, it, it might just be a nigga might just say some shit, bro. And when a nigga say some shit, bro, nigga be like, ooh, bro. Nigga can't be talking about but one nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got to be talking about you, bro. So you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga got to be talking about you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never forget, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like anytime I see somebody put some shit up, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be seeing the internet reaction to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I, Nigga put some shit up and I feel like it's about me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna directly ask because I, I don't have no way of knowing. But what I do, what I can do is say something on my end, bro. And if it, you know what I'm saying, if it, if it offend you, if I say, oh yeah, nigga must be talking about a nigga and it offend you, then you did, you know what I'm saying? You was, then, then you was the one that was, you know what, what? I'm saying, trying to, just, trying to do that. Well, listen, isn't that tit for tat though? Instead of us just getting on the phone or me asking you, is you know what I'm See, saying? This the thing. This, this the thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as that shit, bro. Like, much shit to go on in our city, bro. A motherfucker can post some shit, bro, and a motherfucker feel like that's about them. And then a motherfucker get out there and be like, hey, bro, I just wanted to know if you was talking about me. And I'm like, bro, hell no, I won't talk about you, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? If I put some shit up there, like, a nigga must be talking. It ain't going to be just one nigga I feel like talking about me. So if a nigga then post some shit, you know what I'm saying, that show he was offended by that, that show that he meant to say what he meant to, what he meant to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can... You can you can do certain things and use certain verbs and certain words and go about things a certain way to pull the true intentions of motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? Then when then when that's met, that's when you can, hey bro, that's when you like, you know what I'm saying, like me and bro did, like, hey bro, let's sit down, bro. Like obviously it's a disconnect here. Let's get on the phone, bro. It, it's a, it, like something gotta be said. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, like I said, you know what I'm saying, you have Artists with egos and certain shit, you know what I'm saying? But just as long as niggas go about it the right way, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can you can get more misunderstandings solved, bro, because it's a lot of time where that shit don't go that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? 